All right, this one as well. Put that away. No, we've got enough. Oh, right. Okay. Well, you're looking good as ever. Oh, thank you. I don't feel it. It's that you know that horrible feeling at the start of the week. Well, we are up early. Yeah, we are. We are. I'll give you People that. should know we've got up extremely early to do this video today. Yep. Oh yeah, I mean, how are you feeling? Oh what mate, point? flipping it. You probably saw what happened to the Giants last night. Oh no, oh, oh. Makes you wonder why you bother. Yeah. After last night. Giving up all of these years. Yeah. There's a lot going on in the world at the moment. Yeah, yeah. And I um, know it's, it's got both of us down a little bit, hasn't it? It has, because, oh, I, I mean, I don't want to get into politics as much. This, you know, we're obviously what we're talking about. And I'm sure that the majority of people on both Hang sides... On. Sorry, the pigeons. Yeah. Sure, the majority of people on, on both sides are, are decent people. What's she feeding them? Look, I don't know. Just be aware of them, because yeah. they're behind yeah, you now. No, you know I me, mean, I get nervous around oh, certain no, animals. So. Yeah, look, look, look. Yeah. yeah I've done that. All right. But you, you can't just be... They're going again, they're going again. Why don't they just stay up there? You know, either, either stay down... No, no, they're back, they're back. Oh. Because, um, like I said, you've got to do your... The statement, the stickers are falling off because of this now. But then also, as well, I've got to say... They're getting closer, look. But I'm, I, I, do you know what cheeses me off a bit this week? I've heard negativity about Rooney. Well, that's what we really want to talk yeah, I about. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm, um, Hang on. I'm not comfortable here. Fucking hell, man. We don't go up there, do we? Do you know what I mean? We could go and film on their roof and piss them off. All right. Um, but right, let's get back down to business. Yeah. Right, right, so the thing is, obviously we're sixth in the table. Yeah. At the same time, what are we? About three points off 15th in the table. Yeah, it's That's how it goes yeah, this time yeah, in the season. Definitely. So there's people out there who think that Eustace is really hard done by. And to be fair, he's done a decent job. Kept us afloat. He has. Players like him, happy dressing room. I don't, so I've got to be careful because I don't want to sort of sound like I'm slagging him off. No, no, no. You know what I mean? But, all right, look at a little parallel. Chelsea were taken over by Abramovich. 2003, right? That suddenly changed Chelsea from being just a big club to being, at the time, I think they were the richest club in the world, mm. right? So all of a sudden now, the future's looking totally different. They were buying big names left, right and centre. You know what I mean? Um, and who was their manager at the time? Ranieri. Yeah. Claudio Ranieri, who'd done an excellent job. He was popular, really good. But the point is, the year after, 2004, they improved. They finished, I think it was second. And... Um, Abramovich and the Chelsea owners realised that if they wanted to just go to that next level, they needed a, a big name. And then, of course, Mourinho came in and sure enough, it worked. They ended up champions. And it's like, again, I'm not slagging him off, but it's like with all the, the, the stuff that's gone on recently, the takeover, Tom Brady, these things that we never could have, we never could have imagined, yeah? Money available. Look, you remember we were at the, I was at the club the other week. I was amazed even just the transformation of the Well, stadium. I was thinking, yeah. do you think there's any chance that Rooney actually saw that video of you in cup reception talking about how improved it is, elite level football club, and maybe thought, hang on, there's something going on here. It could be. It, it, yeah, it could be. We're talking a huge name. Rooney's one of the most famous footballers in the world. You know what I mean? One of the best players England has ever produced. Hundred yeah, yeah. All of the players in our squad will look up to. Yep. And, and I he think gets you... us, he gets us, doesn't he? That's oh god. Because Everton are very I mean they're bigger than ours us obviously, but they're very similar in some ways. And he yeah. said that at the press conference. Yeah. He said, This reminds him of Everton, working class club, working class place. The fans want to see hard work. Yep. But he also wants to entertain them. What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that at all. And I've followed him, you know, I've followed his career really from the from the start, so I know what he's about. Well that's showing him look. Yeah, I know. Well. It's almost like a metaphor in it for life. You know what I mean? No one's ever where they're supposed to be. We've just... got rid of him now look. Well no, yeah, but what use is that man? It's eight o'clock, I need a drink, so <laughs> come on. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Ah. Go. Do you, you not can, want to sit down on no, their bench for a minute? they can have the place to themselves now, go on. 
they win. Well, you've made it very clear that you trust the owners. I do. And that everything yeah. they've done so, so far. far they, yeah, so far they've, they've pretty much not put a foot wrong. So if they've made this decision, whatever you think about it, surely we need to get behind it. Go with what, the, yeah, what they've done so far, which looks good so far, doesn't it? That's the thing. All right, well, come on. Come on. I'm, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm hungry as well, so let's go. Okay. <laughs> Is it? Of all the stickers that you're wearing, mm -hmm. have you got a favourite? Just this one, you can't. Well, that's a that's classic, very isn't it? Simple, very yeah. simple. Blue. And you've been seen wearing that quite a lot. Do you think the, the South Birmingham Blues one with the tower blocks? Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, Do you think they're a bit small? Do we need to maybe get bigger ones? This one in. Mm, that's a great one. And that's what we're all about pride in not just that club, but where we're from. And Rooney said that he's really looking forward to spending time around here, getting to know the place, getting to know the people. Yeah. And again, you know, if we're looking at the similarities, Frank Lampard, when he went to Everton, did the same thing, really like engaged with the local people and became mm. part of it. So, and I think Rooney's, you know, sim same, same kind of personality. Talk about his personality and talk about him as a player. You've obviously watched his whole career. Yeah, I mean, like the thing is, back in um, 2002, I actually gave up the opportunity to go and watch Blues at Albion, to go and watch Everton Arsenal, when Rooney got his famous first ever, well, first ever Premier League goal. The thing that got me with that day, I remember, was that the Everton crowd just got lifted just when he came on as a sub, and it's almost like that was worth a lot in itself. Mm. He was, and he was so confident, because if you see that goal against Arsenal, which by the way, like Arsenal so needed a team to just get stuck into him that day, and Everton did it. But for Rooney to try what he did, the goal itself was brilliant, and there's a lot of players who could have done that. But as a 16-year-old in one of your first games, to do that was incredible. And this is what people don't give him credit for. He, he, he developed this more when he was at Man United. He's very clever as a player. Oh, gotcha. Like, really, really intelligent player. He comes across as just being all about pace, power, and you know the outrageous stuff, and obviously a bit of a temper on him, but he's very, very clever. We were saying the other day, of all the great Man United players, yeah. there's not many that have got his combination of skill, intelligence, aggression as well, passion, yeah, yeah. all put into one. Definitely, definitely. And also as well, and I, th I think a lot of people are saying this, is that Cristiano Ronaldo wouldn't have been the player that he ended up becoming without Rooney. Mm. You know, there was a bit at the start where Rooney was seen as a better player than Ronaldo, mm. but then um, I think it was Rio Ferdinand was talking about this that, Rio, that Rooney is he's, he's, he's very unselfish and yeah. he was always very a good creator as well so he'd have large parts of the season where he might not score but he was always creating he was always doing something and I just think that this is going to transfer to uh, transmit to translate know, translate whatever transform into management because good players aren't always good managers but when they're, mm -hmm. when they're clever yeah. they often are you know what I mean you were also there, his first ever game at Blues. Yeah, yeah. when he got a red card. <laughs> oh, what do you remember of that? Well, I remember that day I was in the main stand and I was actually not far from the bench. And I remember even as a, well, that was his obviously first season and first few months, he was one of the lads already. You can <laughs> see him having a laugh and a joke with the substitutes and everything. Um, and he came on and yeah, he was just willing to throw himself about. <laughs> He went, you know, he went, he went a bit over the ball on uh, Steve Vickers. He did some other good ones like that. There was one he did a few, I think it was the year after at Wolves. I can't remember the Wolves goalkeeper's name, it might have been Paul Jones. And Rooney went in, slid for a 50 50, two footed onto his head. And he didn't even get a red card for that one, that's the mad part. Times have changed, haven't they? Yeah. But, um, no, he got that one, and of course we all gave him stick, but I just remember thinking. Yeah, he, he'll do well this lad. <laughs> what was the what was the thought process though when you watched him? Did you think this guy's going to be one of the best? Definitely. By that stage, because we played them on Boxing Day, I remember it, and I remember that's when he got sent off. Yeah, he got sent off. But it was a one-one game. Um, and what I remember was that already by that stage, he transformed Everton's season. In Translated. Like, no, this one is transmitted. Transformed that fucking. <laughs> <All right>. um, <laughs> 
he definitely transformed Everton's season in just a couple of months. So the effect that he was having on the team as a, when he was by 17 year old, you're thinking, you know, it can only get better from there. And obviously what really did him, Everton won't like to admit this, but going to Man United and hitting the ground running, he got a hat-trick on his first game for Man United in the Champions League. And after that, you just the confidence grew and plus he benefited from being with, uh, with Alex Ferguson, no doubt about it. And you think maybe, hopefully for us, Alex Ferguson's management has rubbed off on him enough? I hope so, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, and like I said, if you just look at what kind of player he became over his, over his career, you know, crazy to think that it doesn't ever feel like he did it for England. I was going to say. But yet the numbers say he did, it's weird. He got goals, but did he get enough goals in big games? Not all his fault. The one thing that I'll defend him on until the Cats come on was Euro 2004. Rooney was our best player until he got injured in the quarter-final. It was when he got injured in that Portugal game that we then had to play more defensively and we, we could have won that. So, given all of this brilliance, which a lot of our players will have seen growing yeah. up, or at least heard about, and given the fact that he's also surrounding himself with other quality international footballers, yeah. surely the sky's the limit? Yes. At Blues? Yeah. I think he's the same confidence that he started at Everton, that he started at Man United. And that led, aren't we also forgetting as well that, yeah, Derby got relegated. But didn't they only get relegated because of the points? The points team? deduction. Without the points deduction, we wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. they'd finish above he us. Trans so he transformed them. It's just that they were already up against it. I don't really judge by DC United because that's just a different thing altogether. Can we talk about though that one goal that he created? I watched it, yeah, I watched it last night. Where he went, went back, ran as fast as anyone on the pitch to yeah. tackle, and then probably from what behind the halfway line he creates an incredible last-minute goal. Yeah, and yeah. a good fan reaction as well. That yeah. decent crowd. His players didn't react. No, that was the funny thing. <laughs> but the crowd went mental. You heard the cheer when he won the tackle. I mean, if you were the player who tackled, oh. as manager, you'd be peed off. I mean, he yeah, could have yeah. done absolutely anything. Yeah. But Rooney saw a bit of a weakness there and tackled and then put in an hell of a cross. Yeah. And again, that's Rooney in a nutshell, the complete and he didn't package. Even, he, yeah, he didn't even celebrate no. as well. It's like he just thought, yeah, I'm here to do a job and that's it. Yeah, very positive. It's just another moment of like, oh my God. So now we've got Tom Brady, well, the takeover. Tom Brady, now Rooney, what next? We're signing Messi or something like that. Do you know what I mean? It's, who knows now? I don't even know what to expect now. Waking up in the morning. Could you ever have seen this? Blues with no. two of the biggest no, no, no. sports stars in the world. Arguably the best, the most famous American footballer of Absolutely. all time. And potentially the most famous footballer of all time. Certainly top what, three. top ten? Top five. What, best ever? Most or most famous? famous. Most yeah. yeah, I'd go with that. You know, Messi, Ronaldo, I suppose Mbappe now. Zidane? Yeah. Not as much as Rooney. Really. <laughs> Have you watched the uh, Beckham show on Netflix? No, I haven't. Are you going to watch it? I didn't even know it existed. <laughs> <laughs> What's this thing? It's not bad. Okay. It's a four-part documentary okay. it's called Beckham. And it goes through his whole career, everything that happened. David Beckham. David Beckham. Okay, not, okay. not Odell Beckham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He played last night. Uh, he had a no, nice no, little... No, no, don't go spoil it for me. Right? Okay, sorry. You know I like to catch yeah, yeah, up yeah, during yeah, the yeah. week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been a long time since I... Oh, man. I want the wings and the katsu chips. Also, as well, we're, we're too accepting, aren't we? Yeah. What well, of not being very good? Like, yeah. I, okay, it's part of the character of the city, which is that we sort of we don't treat us. It's a, in a way, it's a positive. Self-deprecating. Yeah, we don't treat ourselves too seriously, but at the same time, that's why the city as a whole is in such a shitty state. Well, look yeah. at Digbeth. Well, just everything, mate. But I mean, if you look, Chris Hutton season. Yeah. Mm. Because we got relegated, because our manager had left, because there was the financial problems, every Blues fan or that I spoke to around that time were of the attitude of like, well, we're just lucky that we're not getting relegated and going out of business. <laughs> so anything above that's a bonus. And I'm thinking, we had a bloody good manager, yep. a really decent squad, yep. yeah, and we came, we should have been pushing for automatic promotion. You know, we held our own against sides in Europe. We ended up in the playoffs, and it's like a lot of Blues fans don't realise. They thought it was just, a bonus that we got playoffs. Yeah, they don't realise just how much of a missed opportunity yeah, that was to actually get back up and solve some of the problems. Yeah, really you know good side I mean? that was. 
And this year, again, I know you agree with me because we've said it before, but when you look at that squad, you've got players there who are really good championship players. Definitely. Definitely. And in terms of like the manager, you know, I can't help but think that a lot of our fans are just saying, you know what, Eustace is alright, he's done it well, let's not try and be anything that we're not. No, these American owners have come in and they've said like, and even some of the staff they've brought in as well, have said no more of this like oh, typical, yeah. typical no blues. No more typical crap. blues, yeah. We, we're done with this defeatist mentality now and we're going to be, because look, other clubs have had it as well. I think I'm right in saying, Villa, Wolves, Man City, you know. They all had this mentality at one point of just like, oh, it's typical, whatever, and you know, who cares? But they changed the culture of the club, and suddenly on the pitch, everything starts going well. Well, Gary Cook can speak to that, the similarities yeah, that between really us now yeah. and Man City when he oh, yeah. first went there. And we're trying to leave that in the past. Yeah, exactly. And we can still see humour in the times that we've had, and of course things will still go wrong. Yeah, because, yeah exactly, because you know that there will be some typical blues, right? We could win the championship convincingly, <laughs> but still have the odd game where we lose 4-0 at home to the bottom team. Yeah. That's us, and we laugh about it. But we don't want to accept that as just, that's the norm. No, not anymore. A lot of fans who go to the away games will agree with us on this, because we've had performances this season where the game's just sitting there, and we don't grab it by the scruff of the neck. Yeah. Norwich away. Me, Jimmy, and Tony Routley. We sat down for most of the second half. When do you ever see that at an away game? Yeah, but it was a poor, poor performance against a side that had just lost 6-2. Yeah. And I think, personally, and the I owners guess. watched that game yeah. and they said, no more of this. Exactly. Where's this food? Fucking hell. I think the food's coming. Before we get it, yeah. what's your personal prediction? Because we must admit this could go horribly wrong. But it could go amazingly well. And I don't think there'll be much in between. Still stand by it. I think we're going up. We're going up in the playoffs. And you don't think that's a ridiculous prediction? Because when you look at that side and you see the likes of Ethan Laird, even though he's out at the moment, and you see Dembele, Koji, Stansfield, players who, quite frankly, could walk into 90% of sides in the championship. Yeah. Well, do you remember um, years ago? And we should know this because we lost out to him. Uh, Roy Keane went to Sunderland and they were bottom of the mm. championship. They ended up winning the league. They pipped us to the title on the last game. We were already promoted anyway. That just shows what you can do in this division. It's a crazy league, isn't it? It is, mate. And I think if you've got the right manager and a few decent players, there's no telling what you can do. Exactly. If you've got your doubts, leave that in the past, yeah? And let's focus on what could happen. And what could happen is Rooney taking us to the Premier League and the owners and Rooney and whoever else they're getting transforming the club all around. You know what I mean? Oh, come on then. Finally. Oh. Let's get going. Yeah, nice man. Katsu chicken, very nice. Just what you want at that time of the morning, but yeah, it's good man. <laughs> Bosses are taking the piss though, man. You know, this boat, we've said this before, this route's gone downhill big time, hasn't it? it? Used to be one of the best. Oh my god. But anyway, forget that though. Um, positivity, it's been nothing but positivity this season from the moment we've got wind of the arm is taking over, the Brady thing, now the Rooney thing, Messi thing next, you know what I mean? So <laughs> You mentioned Messi. Yeah. Seriously, now, come on. There's gotta be a chance of us having pre-season in America. We've got Brady, yeah, yeah. we've got Rooney, we've got money. It's coming, it's coming. Yeah. Before we get this bus, where would you like to see us play? Florida. Miami. East Coast. Do oh. a tour. New York, down to Philadelphia, Washington DC, end up in Florida. <laughs> let's get this thing, yeah? Come on, let's get it. Feeling good now? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So that's where King's East Station is going to be? Yeah, not, not a bad idea. It just seems weird though, it's not then Mosley only just up the road. Are you okay with the stickers? Can I, I'm going to take them off because they are getting on my nerves now.
Eustace, forget it, you know, managers do come and go. He did a job for us and um, I'm sure he'll do a good job somewhere else. Keep in mind as well, you know, people saying about oh, he, the, the Bond, well, he's a Villa fan, isn't he? Look at, and like I said, maybe as well, we've got two caught up talking about Rooney. What about some of these other people he's brought with him? Ashley Cox, wow. one of the best left backs ever. John O'Shea, I love the guy. Good player. Yeah. Um, Shuttleworth and also Carl Robinson as well. Man United, cheers. Do you think maybe if we start really doing well, yeah. you'll see a few less people around here wearing Man United and Arsenal tops? Um, I want to say, yeah. Do you think we could ever be a truly fashionable club? Absolutely not. <laughs> my, message to the, my message to the American audience is this, I appreciate what you're doing, but if you think you're going to ever turn this into a fashionable club, it ain't happening, it's not happening. But I appreciate you. Let's just get back with And let's get to America for pre-season. Exactly, yeah. I know you've got a few complications travel-wise at the moment. <laughs> But I'd love to see you there. Yeah. East Coast tour. Yeah. Well, yeah. Blues it. in New York. Yeah. One of your fans. Thank yeah. you. Nice to see. <laughs> Lovely man. Cheers, mate. Thank you. It's always nice to see one of your fans meeting you on video. <laughs> yeah, love it, mate. Always nice to meet fans. You know what I mean? Um, it's all about spreading the love. Do you think when they build the, the train eventually? The 50 buses will be quicker anyway. Yeah, probably. He'll take a bit of pressure off. Yeah. I mean, look at that behind you. Oh, oh, he's done it. You see. Not everybody can peel stickers. Oh, I most certainly can. There you go. We've just got to um, put differences aside now. Get behind Rooney and please try and understand the bigger picture of what the owners are trying to do here. Do you know what I mean? It might fail, but it probably won't. They haven't really failed with anything else so far. This is a different kettle of fish. Yeah, so um, for those of you who are going, enjoy Middlesbrough, I'm sure you will. And those of you who aren't, well, get off your arse, get down here. Paul City, give Rooney the welcome he deserves. I'm sure that'll help the situation. And um, it's really on you lot as the fans not to let this be Another uh, another zone. Oh, situation. don't say zone. You know what I mean. So, yeah, keep right on. Just be positive. We used to be able to use Bordesley Station. We can't even get in it. We get this one, yeah. yeah.